Uh, now we've got a really beautiful experiment. Unfortunately, I have quite your year equipment to everyone in here, so I'm going to need two volunteers. It's like odd questions uh, when we send you suits, but I'm going to need two volunteers. This experiment, all you need is a lovely shell or a coat hanger <coughs> and a couple of pieces of string. That's a couple of pieces of string on the uh, oven shelf. I'd like to take that on the hand, um, wrap the string around a big one finger on each and four finger on each hand. Do that with one finger. Okay. Now, I'm afraid I'm going to hear this. Right. Go ahead and do it yourself. It's incredible. Okay, now, if you lean forward and put your fingers in your ears, And uh, don't actually first of all take things out and hit it. So it sounds like a normal button shell. You can hear, when, when he's hitting that, you can hear the high pitch ringing noise. Would everyone agree that when you hit things like a button shell, you get a high pitch ringing noise? What? Yeah. These guys have wrapped the string around their fingers and they've got their fingers in their ear with the oven shell dangling free and they're hitting the oven shell now. Half are looking like a deep. When we did this on the radio, um, I started getting pictures, because it goes out on the podcast internationally, I started getting pictures of people at student parties all over the world with hundreds of pissed students, all with oven shelf. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the effect is really dramatic. And Dave, why are these people hearing Big Ben going off in their heads? Okay. If you take, unfortunately, not that, um, with this oven shelf, when you hit it, it vibrates. In fact, although you can only hear the high frequency vibrations, if you feel it, you just touch it, you can feel lots of other resonance, lots of resonant low frequency vibrations as well. Now, uh, because it's very got very, very thin bits of wire, um, when it vibrates slowly, the air has time to just move around it, so it can't, doesn't have to vibrate. If it's vibrating fast, the air hasn't got time to get out of the way, so it piles up and forms waves, the waves go out to your ears and you can hear it. But because string, when it's taught, is really quite stiff, um, any frequency vibration from this will get transferred up to your ear, into your, through your bones in your head, and into your ear. You can get all the frequencies which is vibrating at, which includes the very low frequency, 50, 60 hertz ones. So it sounds like a great big gong. <coughs> Normally you need to have a very, very large object, but the air hasn't got time to move around it, you've got to hear the low frequencies. With a piece of string you can, and it sounds really incredible. Try it when you get home.